The United States military suffered an Islamic attack yesterday on U.S. soil. Kuwaiti-born Muhammad Yusuf Abdulaziz attacked the Army Recruiting Center on Lee Highway as well as the Naval and Marine Reserve Center at the Chattanooga River Park in Chattanooga, Tennessee. The Islamic coward attacked the gun-free zones with a rifle, murdering four United States Marines and wounding two other soldiers and a police officer before he was sent to hell by Chattanooga police. The Islamic attack was witnessed by several Chattanooga citizens. We heard a loud pop, and uh, so the owner of the salon and I went to the window to see what was going on. And when we got to the window to see what was going on, we saw the uh, silver convertible Mustang, and he was just unloading some type of large rifle. He just pulled up, and I didn't think anything of it. He had his drop top, and he looked to the side, and next thing you know, he lifted up his arms like this with a, a, a big black gun, and just, it was one shot, and then it was just endless shots, one after another, just unloading. It's important to note that the Islamic shooter didn't act alone. His violent act was made easier by his accomplice Donald J. Atwood, who was Deputy Secretary of Defense under President George H.W. Bush. He was the first to write policy disarming U.S. soldiers on U.S. soil. Another accomplice, Bill Clinton, created complete gun-free zones on all military installations nationwide. After the Islamic attack at Fort Hood, another accomplice, President Obama, should have revisited these foolish policies but did not. In fact, he even failed to recognize it as what it was, an act of war. The blood of these four Marines, as well as anyone murdered like a sitting duck in a gun-free zone, is on the hands of anyone that creates gun-free zones or votes for anti-Second Amendment laws that strip Americans of their natural rights. This Islamic attack is another act of war. Whether we like it or not, the United States is at war with Islamic Jihad. The sooner we wake up to this fact, the better. We are at war, folks. Arm yourselves. Our thoughts and prayers here at The Ray Warner Show go out to the families of these brave men and women and all others murdered and wounded in this war. Thanks for listening. Don't forget to subscribe and donate at TheRayWarnerShow.com.